morning happy happy friday to you god bless you talking about repentance and why to repent i hope by now you're seeing the importance of repentance and that you're motivated to repent more and more as i go through my um spiritual life and my walk with jesus christ i am understanding more and more the importance of sticking close to god and i have to make sure that i don't allow any sin to separate it doesn't mean that you may not sin you would but when you do confess it repent of it it's just an indicator that there's another area that the holy spirit needs to work on in your life so quickly repent of it surrender yourself to god so that he can sanctify you you can grow up spiritually and when you grow up spiritually this is the next benefit service you're able to serve others you're able to bless others uh, there's a scripture that talk about having a plank in your eye and a speck in someone else's if sin if you're living in sin you have that plank in your eye as the analogy would, would teach us you're not able to see number one good from evil to correct others to help others and even if you do you're doing it from a place of hypocrisy because if you yourself are living in sin how can you tell someone else about it but as we repent as we are refreshed as we're satisfied as we're sanctified we are now in a position to serve with authority with power and authenticity it is not just about doing things in the kingdom of god but it's doing it under the power and the anointing of almighty god it is being able to do it with that authenticity with clean hands with pure hands and a pure heart that is what it's about so in psalms 51 verse Verses 12 and 13 this is what it says to us restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me by your generous spirit then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners shall be converted so this is David and we're gonna talk about him a little later um, in the month God willing and when he repented this is what he's saying to God restore the joy of my salvation remember I say that it robs you of your joy because there's that guilt and that shame so he's praying Lord restore the joy of my salvation that joy that I first got when I was saved when I first came into the kingdom of God restore that joy that I am that I had then and then he's saying I will teach transgressors your ways when we are restored when we repent and we're satisfied we are spiritually growing we are now equipped to teach others to help others not to condemn them not to judge them because we were guilty as well but instead to teach them to help them to sit with them to identify to be able to say yes i made that mistake too I was trapped in this sin as well and this is what I did but if we don't repent we cannot say that and even if we say it just by head knowledge if we say that there's no power behind it because if you're still living in it it means you have not conquered it you have not overcome it and there's no power behind it to be able to assist that person so for me this is the crescendo of the benefits or the reasons why to repent of course I did not exhaust them all but this is the crescendo because it positions you to serve others it positions us to be able to help others effectively it positions us to fulfill our purpose in the kingdom of God may the Lord strengthen us and help us to further understand the benefits the consequences if we don't repent and why we should repent and I'm praying Lord Jesus help us to assume the posture of repentance to develop a heart of repentance not to be consumed and bogged down with a wrong that we did knowing that that's not what you're looking at but you're welcoming us to come to you and confess that sin and repent so that you can cleanse us and wash us and use us for God do this for us in Jesus name amen God bless you have a wonderful weekend we will continue next week talking about repentance